Cards Chat, how are you? Good to be back. It is the World Series of Poker. It's been a crazy, crazy time. I mean, I've played some big tournaments, some fun ones. I've had a lot of disappointment, a lot of crazy bubbles and, you know, whatever. You name it, it's happened. But I do want to talk a little about final tables and perspective because, you know, this is something I'm coming off of two final tables. I want to talk about the 10K Omaha High Low, PLO8 known as, which is a really fun format. Uh, I appreciate everyone who had a piece bought on Stake Kings. I know we had some some people that won some real money. I scored for over six figures, 106,000 and change. Uh, but I want to talk about perspective because it's so easy to be disappointed. It's so easy to say, oh, I should have got more. You know, I was three of five and I got fifth or, you know, looking at it from a uh, a standpoint of coming into the day. I was like 11 to 13, very short. I ended up making the final table and looking back on it, um, I, I just think that it's so important to look at perspective. And when you do reach a final table, when you do make a good score, a deep run, you know, to put in perspective what you did, the accomplishment it is, how well you had to play, how well you had to run as well to likely get there and realize that it's a, it's a great accomplishment. Because honestly, tournaments are crazy. If you think about it, you literally, if you're playing tournaments for a living or even, you know, just playing them a lot, you're basically doing this, you're losing for a living because you don't really ever win, right? Like if you don't take first, if you take second, you're super bummed out. Like wow, I could have taken taken first, you know, or I was so close. Or if you get six, you're like, oh, it's, it's usually always more. Of course, there's the certain times where you can look at it and say, oh, I was short and I spun it up and ladder to this and that. But I just want to remember for you guys to put things in perspective on your accomplishments, because in poker, in particular tournaments, there's just so many times where you're disappointed, or you don't cash, or you you know things don't work out. So really, mental. It's so important, especially during the World Series of Poker, when you're likely, if you're here, you're playing uh, a lot of tournaments, whether it's at the WSOP or other venues for this this period of time, call it a six-week period. It's super important to stay positive when things aren't going well, but also when they go okay, but you're disappointed. So I want to just really focus on that mental toughness, that mental perspective to, to remind yourselves that it is a mental game and it's so important for you to 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 put it yourself in a in a positive light and also get rest because this is something that you know I find that I had a plan this WSOP. I said I'm look, I'm gonna take a, a couple of days off. I'm not just gonna go 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 go. Uh, I want to come in and even start fresh on some events instead of uh, late registering some that were going and just keep going. Just all right, you know I bust on a day two, day two or short of the money and uh, day deep on day one and just go home get some rest. Come back for a fresh start or earlier start and be rested because this is so important so again perspective is key perspective is really everything in life and in poker in particular it's something you have to focus on you have to find ways to stay positive stay alert and uh, you know just just really give yourself a pat on the back sometimes because honestly poker so many life lessons and you guys deserve it if you're playing and you're working on your game and you're looking to improve you know give yourself a pat on the back and 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 just you know Take it in, take it in. Poker is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be learning. It's supposed to be lessons that come from it. And uh, I, I can say personally that this has been a very rewarding WSOP for me. I really do feel the support, the energy. And if you guys see me at the World Series of Poker or anywhere in Vegas, uh, anywhere really, anywhere, but uh, you know, obviously it's more going to be more prevalent that you'll see me or run into me at a poker table because that's I'm there pretty much every day. Uh, please say hi. Please come and introduce yourselves, and I appreciate all the support so much. And again, give you guys a pat on the back. Keep going. Keep pushing. Keep learning. Keep growing, and do your best.